Hello St Paul's. I hope you've seen my special update on regathering. It was published yesterday and it has lots of details about what to expect this Sunday as we return to a full communion service in the church. As you may know, there are over 70 cathedral ministries and groups, and this week I'm continuing my occasional series about a select few. All of these activities have been dormant during the pandemic, but are now looking to resume ministry, so it's a great time to get involved. The cathedral has a well-stocked library of books related to theology, church history and spirituality. It has been tended by a series of dedicated volunteers, most recently John Pagancock, who created an online catalogue available for browsing at www.librarycat.org slash lib slash st paul's cathedral. The library is located in the lower level of the Great Hall, next to the cathedral office, and it can be visited during office hours or by appointment. You're welcome to borrow books. Sadly, John Pagancop died in 2020, and thanks to the pandemic, we have not yet been able to recruit a successor librarian. If you have an interest in this ministry, please let me know. Cathedral docents provide a simple ministry of hospitality, maintaining a quiet presence in the cathedral when it's open to visitors. Docents take a 90-minute shift in pairs. It's a wonderful opportunity for quiet meditation in our beautiful space. Bob Holt coordinates volunteers and we hope to open back up as the pandemic recedes. Our Greeters Corps has been dormant during the pandemic, but now that we are once again gathering in person, we are in need of friendly people to staff the Greeters table in the courtyard on Sunday mornings, welcoming newcomers and visitors and making sure they meet clergy and other parish leaders. Greeters are often the first cathedral people a visitor meets, and that first impression is critical. Day Jowdry coordinates the Greeters ministry. The Cathedral for the City Commission is a group dedicated to raising the cathedral's visibility in the wider community and ensuring our representation in major civic events, such as Pride, and the St. Patrick's Day Parade. The Commission also seeks opportunities to host important public conversations, and Susan Jester is the coordinator. Cathedral visitors and Eucharistic visitors offer two distinct ministries. Cathedral visitors are paired up with a homebound parishioner whom they visit on a regular basis to offer fellowship and conversation. Eucharistic visitors are trained and licensed to take the consecrated sacrament to those who are homebound. They are not assigned to a specific individual, but are sent out from the Sunday services on a rotating basis. Vicki Hoppenrath is the coordinator for both ministries. It takes a lot of people and a lot of commitment for our many ministries to flourish, and we are building back up to a full slate of offerings. I'm grateful for all of our lay ministers, and I hope that you'll take this opportunity to find a new and fulfilling ministry. See you on Sunday.